What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and this is going to be a whopping big battle. Uh, we have <laughs> effectively 13,000 and 14,000 Americans versus 15,000 Austrians. And it looks like all the efforts I made before to make sure that the battle, things I wanted to come in first, um, is not, <laughs> has not been carried over. Probably do want a mix of artillery coming in because I am gonna. There is a significant risk here that as one force gets overwhelmed, it gets reinforced by potentially not the optimal mix of assets from other armies. Uh, this force is pretty knackered, so let's make sure that the best units possible are coming in first, and then after that, it kind of, kind of doesn't really matter. Although. Something like that. Um, but yes, Gerard Aga, I don't think their force is going to survive the entire engagement. Um, but yeah, let's get to it. We are the attackers, so we have to maintain a certain amount of offensive action. Um, and I'm probably going to burn through a lot of cavalry trying to attack their artillery positions. Because at, at a certain point, that will you know, for the enemy that will be a large amount of what's on the field because as they bring artillery in it will be sat at the back of the map not getting destroyed but their infantry will be getting destroyed so they're going to have lots of artillery pieces scattered around the battlefield which causes problems for us but not unsolvable ones um, but yes I think I'm going to put a couple of guns in the line to deal with all of the infantry <laughs> that's going to be facing us it looks like the game's really really struggling to load this one for some reason um, but yeah this is going to be a good action um, I think a lot of my units are going to be running out of ammunition and then retreating so we need to manage that quite tightly as well it probably behooves us to be somewhat near a border of the map just to make sure that our as our troops retreat and are replaced by new ones they don't we don't get annihilated because our force is now quite small. Count von Cedric. Okay, I think I may want to defend this broad area. So this unit's going to retreat immediately. So let's create one line although eh, these guys are reduced these guys are slightly less capable but they are foot guards so they are not they're not exactly incapable let's make sure i drop some stakes in front of my line some infantry okay let's make sure these guys are kind of spread out i think it will i think it will kind of Oh, I redeployed one of my other units. I've redeployed both of my other units. Yikes, am I really that low on usable infantry? So that's one wing, that's the centre. Then on the left flank, yeah, I'm really quite... Yeah, I might only get one gun team in the line. Provincial scouts just get ready to play stakes. Grenadiers are deployed on the left. Okay, I think my cavalry is going to be quite active trying to pick off artillery pieces. General in the center. Howitzers just keep on. They're going to be throwing out quick climb like mad. Rockets fire at whatever you need to. My artillery might form a bit of a my foot artillery may form a bit of an artillery park on this high ground. Okay, let's get ready to rumble. Scout some riflemen, play stakes. I'm 
it's targeting my artillery, so they're my foot artillery, so they're engaging units at the front. How much is the firing? Quick line, there's nothing really to shoot at. Enemy horse artillery is quite badly depleted. Okay, get my. Let's make sure. Okay, good. So I was going after my skirmishers. Excellent. Shrapnel shot themselves. Particularly want to chase off the enemy cavalry. Off. Will they make the charge? No, they don't. Good. So there is no enemy artillery as yet on the field to worry about. We target the guns. Oh yes, this unit needs to... Book it. Rockets away. They're engaging the Swiss line. In which case, they have access to engage the troops in the centre. We're committing my light cavalry to attack the general's bodyguard. Going to advance forward. To hit the enemy general's bodyguard, you might get a second general's, general's bodyguard unit. Oh, it's as a loading. What's up today? Which needs to keep blasting them with shrapnel shot as much as they can. Who's on this? General's bodyguard, general's bodyguard, general's bodyguard. That's not a bad trade. Go for the unit of six. Here's your close rocket. Exceptional damage here. My provincial scouts. They are able to engage up here, but they're not actually doing so very successfully. Keep engaging the targets. Large component of Hussars, let's send my cavalry after them. Light infantry coming. Okay, we can bolster the left flank. This light cavalry is in trouble. Okay, light infantry get over here on the left flank. Hussars, got some trusty air coming in. Let's push up onto the hill. I think a really close range, you do just want canister shot. Kill another enemy general. Good. Rockets firing again. 
But you need to run around like that. Artillery, focus on the provincial camp that's running in. Okay, cool. Good, good hit on that routing line. Okay, shrapnel shot still coming in. Okay, you've broken their first assault. Switch these guns to round shot. Start engaging some of these enemy troops at range. Another general's bodyguard, another provincial cav, so we're definitely going to be. And that light infantry has definitely done their work. Infantry is shattered. Excellent. These men halt their fire. Gunners switched to round shot. Guns on the high ground are engaging the 4th Regiment. Let's see, if we can win this engagement, we can really tie up those um, gunners quite quickly. We're knocking back Austrian generals left and right, so they're going to start. Even a little bit. Are they, are they struggling to enter the field? They might be. General's bodyguard been killed. Right, push the cavalry forward. Is this going to be a massive damp squid? It looks like they're not actually coming in. You know, they are. They're just coming in to right at the back. But there are multiple armies entering. I suppose lots of their units haven't actually come in. All my guns focus on the 4th Regiment because they're actually advancing slowly. I'm going to advance some of my cavalry. Yeah, my light cavalry that's damaged forward at speed. Unit of engineers coming in. Let's get these two units at the back to engage those engineers. We can knock out. Trouble is, that's where one army, a set of troops, is coming in. There's another set of troops coming in over on the left somewhere. Run forward into the three pounder horse, let these guys deal with fourth regiment. Okay, this is, this is where two of their armies are entering the field. Keep my depleted cavalry out on the flanks. Switch my howitzers to round shot, bombard the foot guards. Could try and advance and engage them on the hill. Cavalry out of the way. Light cavalry is retreating. Could advance to this set of high ground, and I don't want to be caught out by any other reinforcements coming in. It's quite nice knowing exactly where they're coming in from a long way off. But we are on the offensive. So we probably don't want to rest on our laurels. Number up. 
Foot artillery limber up. Rockets advance slowly and with caution. My cavalry sat out here on the wing, just waiting for a gap to go after their rockets. Heavy cavalry, get out onto the right flank. When the Legion get involved, they'll probably also might be able to push back though that gun team quite nicely. See if I haven't stuck, got that gun team stuck. They are going to squeak through, but it does take, they are a bit, they are not in the best shape. Okay, this is the higher ground I would like. Nearest the enemy position. come back something like this and my howitzers advance my rockets are going to take a bit longer to get up as well okay you've made it to the edge of the stakes i mean this isn't bad for the foot artillery they'll have a good angle on effectively the entire battlefield Give them a volley. And my skirmishers just to give them a devast deliver a devastating effort. There we go. I might want my cavalry over here. guys doing to send that cavalry into the militia and smash it you guys have all got funky orders are engaging, the Prycor are engaging. I'm not sure where you're going. Everybody seems to be given a weird task. Heavy cavalry are gone. That's not terrible. It's kind of by design. Okay, are you guys out of formation? Now it's a quick climb, focus on the left. And limber our gunners. We get my cavalry out on the right flank because we don't have any support. Oh, unlimber, are you within range of stuff? You are. 
Oh, and then limber. Shrapnel shot. That unit of militia. UN shrapnel shot. Oh, you get to blast him, it's not close enough. Swiss line. The line has been formed, but I think it's almost a bit too high. Tyler line, we definitely want to be within enemy, we definitely want the enemy to be within shrapnel shot of our guns, of our um, infantry rather. Rockets are providing cover, gauging the enemy artillery. of enemy militia at the front. Oh, it says almost a bit close. Bring my cavalry down to attack the enemy and their militia. Take the line infantry guards. I, don't, I almost kind of don't want the rockets to engage the foot artillery. We almost made it to our front rank. That's the militia. They've broken. Enemy heavy cavalry is being called in. Blast the Swiss line off of the crest of the hill. Retreat my heavy cavalry through my mercenary line. I think all my Republican guard to bolster the left flank. Gonna, if the cavalry aren't committing, I want to focus my shrapnel shot onto them. A couple of good hits. Square should deal with them. Those are both shattered, that's great. Bring my I'm about to bring my heavy cavalry down, don't need to. Blow my infantry forward, get my guns focusing on the main blocks of enemy infantry. Send my heavy cavalry on a bit of a suicide mission. They're going to hit the 45th regiment and then go try to go after the enemy artillery. Climb is still hitting the enemy infantry here. Get my Republican guards to fit in. You got go hit the light dragoons. Travel shots doing good work. There you go, the 
the volleys of the Republican Guard. They're breaking through. Horse, like, horse guards got shredded by Dragoon fire. Okay, the left hand most gun team switched to round shot. Bombard. She kind of out, but not massively out. Shred that unit of militia coming in. Maybe we can start to shred the dragoons. Nice. Rockets just open up as and when. Actually, you know, you need to stay stand your ground. This unit withdraw. This unit withdraw. to have a break. You sure that you're going to be out after one more volley? The long riflemen are already out. They need to fall back. Comes a unit of lances coming in on the left. Fall back to the guns. We need their supporting firepower. How it says a limber to the left flank needs to hold. Provincial scouts just come up here and join the line near the guns. Lances are coming in. I'm going to shred my long rifleman, that's fine. Oh, it says withdraw. focus on my long riflemen the more the less damage they can do against my regular infantry everybody shred the lances bring my general back good hits Rockets. I mean, rockets don't have uh, don't have any ammunition requirements, same as artillery. So these are going to be nice, and useful. So you need to withdraw all my light infantry. You need to take a greater position in the line. Taking your time. Get back there. Okay, switch to round shot. Engage enemy infantry at range. Push forward my other infantry. My long rifleman decided to not withdraw. Okay, this unit, so you can withdraw now. Go 
or units that are not required in the line need to need to fall back. So now their artillery is taking quite a giving us quite a pounding. So we would like some cavalry would be nice to prevent or to help kind of prevent um, us getting overwhelmed. Okay, the howitzer's unlimbered. So what are we up against? Lancers, grenadiers. You guys blast, blast the lances with shrapnel shot. Provincial scouts are gonna. These guys are gonna get a good volley. If we can break these lances. Get the provincial scouts forward. Artillery to the rear, this unit. Quick line the enemy as they advance towards us. A okay, full unit of reinforcements. Heavy horse guard artillery, yes. Position up on the high ground, they're gonna sit here and do counter battery work against the enemy artillery, and they'll do a really excellent job of it. Enemy Hessian line or Hessian line get over here. Excellent. Okay, you can probably retreat. Travel shot the horse grenadier guards. Blast the horse grenadier guards. It's a lot of dead cavalry right off the bat. Keep blasting them as they advance in. We're now back up to a reasonable strength. We need to push forward again. Artillery, you guys switch to round shot. Attack the enemy light dragoons to the rear. see off the enemy. The reinforcements coming in on the right. Household cavalry it looks like. So these guns are right at the back. They got a real good range. Just attack that regiment of horse artillery. Here comes the enemy. More enemy reinforcements. the infantry support. The 
lots of enemy cavalry. These light dragoons might dismount, however. General go charge him, but he's gonna hit mistakes. Can I have to use cannons to shot? Throw the Marines into action against the General's bodyguard. Ooh, deploy stakes. E man halts his fire. Four volleys into that block of cavalry. Brush them all aside. Brush them aside. As my, my gunners haven't been convinced to uh, abandon that escapade. Form ranks. Form square, more hussars coming in. Our right flank definitely needs reinforcements. Attack the image bodyguard. These militiamen get over here. Fishermen. Nonetheless, we need them over here. Push up our left flank. Keep forming the square. The enemy hussars are being defeated. Cannons to shot, we need to blast those light dragoons because they're picking off our infantry quite handily. Great. Yeah, we don't need these marines here anymore. They can retreat. Killed another enemy general. may remain in need of heavy infantry that can form multiple squares. Can you blast the Light Dragoons? Bring the Marines in. Bolster the left flank. Gunners back here. How goes your target? You have defeated your. Oh no, your target's just out of range. Let's limber you up and advance you, push you forward. Let the Marines engage the Lancers. Regiment of Horse, bolster the right flank. Jaegers Sophia, they are scary. How it says, attack them. He was, he was mounted up. You are good. Just push forward a little bit. You may fire a will. of working. Just keep throwing the marines in to engage the enemy cavalry. These guys need to stay as a series of squares. Okay, my cavalry needs to advance. 
even though it could be useful in a defensive role here only to use it offensively or at the very least use it use it defensively then pull it out excellent you men form line get the marines out of here Regiment of Horse advanced to try and engage enemy artillery. Earl Jaeger oh, drawing. Okay, so this is the next force to come in, but it looks, you know, it looks like the forces are actually. They've taken a lot of damage. Engaging my marines with artillery fire. Artillery switched to round shot. Toggle fire up well. Actually, no, don't ignore the Fel Jaeger. All my foot artillery, engage them. Don't like that one bit. Okay, take them out. You men bombard the Marines. Okay, don't we don't want oh, I suppose we I suppose really we do want to kill as many units as we can, but In some ways, it's kind of a bad idea. So that's the new enemy army coming in. I think we want to get... Kill it. We want to get back to... being up the field rather than too defensive most of our artillery does not need to join us in this endeavor Guards. Can you shrapnel them? You can from this range. Really, I'd like to try and kill their artillery with this cavalry, but sometimes it can be tricky to kind of snake them through. And frankly, you need to withdraw. You need to withdraw. So our line has somewhat shrunk. It's become more dangerous as a result. Just in range. There we go. Quick line that bad boy. This artillery is going to run here, then here. Okay, my foot artillery 
is in range to engage with shrapnel shot. Marine the shattered. I don't want artillery. Get my quick climbers to engage slightly better targets. Lots of stakes around here. Don't need any more howitzers. Looks like they do want to chase my retreating units, which is awfully cowardly of them. lose some of these cursier to things like those skirmishes. Infantry get over here. Attack the provincial cavalry and try run through into the six pounder horse. Don't need another general. Okay, they're going to starting to outflank us. Artillery, concentrate on that flank. Grenadier guards, get over here. I'm sure it's those 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 uh, skirmishes are just really good. Okay, this unit, twelve pound of foot, engage the militia. You engage the Hessian Jäger. You may engage the Swiss Grenadiers. I think we just need to maintain a constant forward offensive momentum now. I and mean, we don't think we're ever gonna really be able to stop that now. really dicey from my foot artillery perspective. Yeah, this will kind of do something like this. You need to engage directly ahead towards the Swiss Grenadiers. Extra artillery. Not sure you really need it. Okay, right up ahead. Excellent. Push forward. Push forward. Engage. Just stopping. Just, just, just start dropping quick climb ahead of the enemy. Camel's bodyguard needs to commit. Okay, we're getting grenadiers up. They'll help chase off the enemy guards. First foot guards are still holding strong. We 
Provincial Cavalry, drop you guys in the square. There goes the enemy guards. Garrison guards push forward. My artillery at the back here needs to just constantly engage. Six pounder horse towards the rear. One square to deal with the Freikor cavalry. My general's pushing up. Excellent. Push forward. I think for the most part... These armies are slightly defunct. My general's gonna say he's a suicide run, that's not strictly true. Hessian line, charge the Swiss mountain Jaeger. guys switched around shot you need to start taking out some of these gun teams for the rear ammunition states generally look okay okay artillery at the back here Switch to round shot, start engaging the militia at the rear there. The battle for the hill. New men push forward, these men form a line against those Austrians. You push up, ready to try to threaten the base of strength on the left. General will certainly die if I push him into there. How oh, it's a switch to round shot to provide the firepower needed. Engage the dragoons in melee. Melee fire. It's a general's bodyguard that's attacking my infantry. See if we can do that and kill him. Enemy force on the left is quite badly damaged. Artillery, are you still... Good, bombard the 12 pounder for the rear. Kill another enemy general. Attack the general's bodyguard, we just need them to go. Provincial cab is upset. The rockets are inbound. You've just routed, you've just charged the complete wrong direction. Newman advance towards this area of the battlefield. Fresh Austrian reinforcements are coming in ahead of us. This attitude. 24 pounder heavy horse guard artillery coming in. 
And I was too offensive, too offensive off the bat, too defensive off the bat, rather. Bill Jaeger, some fear, just charging in. Playing at charge of the blunder by shotgunners, just get in here and start taking out these skirmishes and artillery artillery folks. Of them now. It's just a. Uh, you men attack the general's bodyguard. You men take out the blunder by shotgunners. Or at least attempt to. 24 pounder heavy horse artillery. Attack the royal horse cuirassier guards. You men try and attack the militia in the center. Tie down the royal cuirassier guards. Okay, the new men form a line just to try and hold. One of a shotgun is winning decisively. No, I don't think I'm going to make it. I was too defensive in the initial engagement. I know I'm doing it again by forming a line, but the idea is just have to try and do as much damage as possible. Around shot, bombard the militia. Bodyguards going down. Get my grenade. Get my other troops involved. All my artillery folks on the Phil Jaeger, full artillery to the rear, engage the enemy heavy horse guard artillery to the rear. Enemy Royal Horse Garcia Guard coming in. Just this real scramble on the right flank, which I'm hoping just because they're against lots of light troops, they might have a chance, but Bring my general's bodyguard over here. Form square. Okay, you engage the militia. You then engage the London militia. Retreat through the square. Okay, some of the troops on our flank are being... Oh, Still coming in from over on the right flank. Oh yeah, this, this definitely isn't going to happen. The line is faltering. So I was worried about this happening earlier in the action. Try not to lose too many of my infantry units. We need to max, we need to pull, but don't lose too many of my artillery units. We need to pull back, maximize my artillery fire for the last five minutes just to try and minimize losses. Yeah, I just haven't been aggressive enough. Killed the enemy. Okay, the enemy general is <laughs> that, that artillery unit is gone. Okay, artillery. Focus on the provincial curve because that's what could kill us on mass. Says, 
climb. What are you going? What are you going? What are you doing? No, don't remember there. Okay, our infantry is starting to rejoin the battle. But yeah, this is exactly what I was concerned about happening at the start of the battle. Come on, get get up on you! Get up on your horses! Quickline militia and Anvair militia. Dragoons are, get, are arriving. Again, we've got three minutes left. Keep on attacking. More Scarlet artillery still coming in. More mercenaries entering the field. This isn't over, Austria. This isn't over, not by a long shot. Where are you guys coming in from? They're getting annihilated by the enemy artillery. smashed by enemy arty because you're coming in from a real funky direction. Don't need any more howitzers, thank you. More howitzers are going to be what I get. Engage the militia. My machine is getting blasted. More artillery? No, I do not. Do not need any more of you. You want to charge that unit of militia? Marines! We didn't have end if we didn't have battle end times I could scrape this that I could scrape this as a win but you always need battle like um end timers in this game you do not you are you you it's, it's as if it's as if you hate yourself Forcing the infantry's here. More reinforcing infantry, but there this infantry is gonna effectively reinforce this action on the hill. And a general? We need a general. Don't think I do. the militia right in front of us. Dragoons are wavering. Not that it's going to matter. The battle is over in six seconds. I was not aggressive enough. Rats. Still, the action is not over. Forty-eighth are in position. Valiant defeat.
Arg. Arg. Yeah, should have just gone all out and attacked. But these things happen. So I think that first army, well, at the very least, we might have been defeated, but the enemy took a lot more damage than we did. It was 9,000. He still had 6,000 men on the field. Sound the retreat. Withdraw. Pull back. So they've Run. managed to Give maintain Withdraw. their hole on the west. Halt. But now, Humphrey Sloper, you've been obliterated. So you've got three cavalry. One unit of skirmishers, you need another unit of skirmishers. You've got enough artillery, so you need one, two, three, six infantry. Something like that. Ready and awaiting at the ready. Well yes, you were sir. gonna go join somebody. Yes. Gerard. You did super well. But it was me that let you down, so you need two, three cavalry, one infantry. So let's get you two cuirassier, one regiment of horse, and one unit of fusiliers. Sir. Noel Compton, Orders. is this where we form up a second, a second attack force? Waiting for your orders. Any further orders? It might be, because lots of these units sh should be quite badly depleted first of all let's make sure our reinforcements are ongoing three cavalry one infantry let's not get colonial light one two three one unit of infantry it's gonna take a while for some of these to get up here redeploy some troops from the <laughs> from the other front so i think this is all we're going to get yes. three armies versus the remaining austrian forces that could be enough though they are a lot weaker so you this force didn't even engage but they still had to retreat so you're going to march or be ordered to march straight back in you're very much at risk. From Mr. Schindler. So two units of infantry. You've probably got some other stuff on the way. That's probably what these guys are for. Oh no, they're going for the army near Paris. Just mass recruit infantry. I'm pretty sure Paris is fully... <laughs> yeah, Paris is fully committed. Let's get some... Other armies built and into the fight. So here, you're recruiting fusiliers for the frontier. So you've got two units of line infantry. You need nine infantry units. Let's get one, two, three, four, plus five, six, seven, eight. Cool. That'll be you guys fully equipped for the fight. So this is a bit risky, but I think it's the move. I didn't hear no bell. So this force, very weak. First few units of reinforcements are all quite weak. To be honest, the entire army, this is where I, this is why I recruit so much firepower. Round two. But looking at the timer, it's definitely time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Oh, for another slugfest against the Austrians. Cheers, everyone.